James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 24th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it does not look like much, but these are disturbances in Earth's electromagnetic field. And it looks like they started at around 1300 UTC time which would be about 6 a.m. Central Time here in the U.S. And they've pretty much been ongoing ever since. When we see even small disturbances in Earth's electromagnetic field, we regularly see the Schumann resonance reacting. And jumping over to our Schumann resonance, this is the Italian model. We see that it is definitely reacting can see the spikes. Many of them look like they possibly could go off the charts here at 110 hertz, but although they're not as strong as we've seen them in the past. I will explain why that is as well. We do see the geophones getting hit really hard up here in pink. And again, we're seeing very consistent Schumann resonance spiking up to the 50 and 60 hertz range and higher as you can see now this is the first Schumann resonance activity we've seen out of that station in some time anytime we do have space weather our shields move into the E and F position or rays to protect us from the actual space weather if it be solar winds plasma a coronal mass ejection etc we did have some space weather throughout these days and our shields had raised and therefore we didn't see the huge spiking on the Schumann residence. We can see that these spikes started right around 12 UTC time, which is going to be 6 a.m. as discussed, the regular spikes. And they have been ongoing for the last six, seven hours off the charts here at 50 hertz. Now, they're not as strong as they sometimes are. We're going to discuss exactly why that is. These are our hourly geophone strips, and they still are not giving us the feedback that they once did. Again, I'm guessing by photos from the area of the modeling station that they're probably covered in snow currently. So here are the amplitudes of all of our modeling equipment here. You can see the geophones are reacting, but not very much at all. In green here, we do see the ULF ultra low frequency noise react considerably. The ELF is also reacting. And the second SR frequency dips right after 12 UTC time when we see the ULF full spike. And that's an indication of an event as well. Now, these are the amplitudes of the four receivers, if you will, at this modeling station. The geophones, the ULF noise antenna, the ULF noise antenna, and the second SR frequency. Now, we all know there has to be an agitator for these Schumann resonance spikes to be occurring. What is the agitator? Well, the modeling agency, which is right about here, has been surrounded by thunderstorms, i.e. lightning, for several hours now. And this could be ongoing based on this leg of the front that's inbound. Our modeling station is right here. And since the lightning is not exactly right on top of it, the spikes aren't as... There's the modeling station right there right southwest or west southwest of Turin, Italy, right on the foothills of the Alps, i.e. the snow on the geophones. We have had thunderstorms all surrounding the modeling station, not right on top of it. Thus, the spikes haven't been as significant as some of the spikes that we have seen in the past. We're going to quickly bounce over to discover real-time solar wind satellite, one of those satellites, and see that the shields are down here in pink. 
They're not up here in blue because there is no space weather whatsoever hitting our planet. When we have space weather, our shields tend to rise to protect the planet, and we don't have human resident spikes as significant as what we see with our shields down. So what does it mean when our shields are quote-unquote down? Well, that means when we have an agitator like lightning, the energy from that agitator goes through our stratosphere and bounces off the lowest level of our uh, ionosphere here, the D layer, and comes right back to the sensors on the ground with much more velocity and power because it's traveled a shorter distance. Again, bouncing off our D layer, our lowest ionosphere layer. Our E and F layers, F1, F2, E1, E2, have basically disappeared because there's no space weather impacting the planet. Thus, there's no reason for them to be protecting the planet. So we have our agitator. We have the E and F layers gone currently, or our shields are down. And our agitator is bouncing off the D layer, returning to all the indicators, our ULF, our ELF, our geophones, and our second SR frequency with, again, more velocity and strength because it's traveling a much shorter distance than it used to. I believe that our atmosphere is actually disappearing as our magnetic pole flip is occurring. And that started occurring visually. The pole started moving in about 2017, and we've seen nothing but stronger and stronger Schumann resonance spikes ever since then, and I mean stronger each year as more of our atmosphere dissipates. Now, none of this means that the Schumann resonance is not affecting the human body and all living things. This is actually affecting all living things. These spikes at these levels are considered unhealthy. I've seen studies that say spikes up to 15 and 16 hertz at, for short periods of time are actually physically and cognitively beneficial as long as the living animal or plant is able to go back to its resting level of 6.83 hertz or, or smaller. So, if this Schumann resonance spiking is affecting you in any way, please let me know in the comments how you're affected. Uh, when I see very large Schumann resonance spikes, I often get lethargic and tired. Uh, according to all the mathematical theories, these higher frequencies and vibrations should be moving us into a higher dimension. But again, I don't think that is what we're experiencing here. I think we're experiencing the, well, our fields falling apart as our magnetic poles flip. And I'm guessing there's going to be a day in the future where all of our ionosphere dissipates completely, and it's going to be crazy. Let me know how this affects you, if it affects you, if you can feel it, and what the effect on you actually is in the comments below. God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.